And how much did I say that whales could, humpback whales could weigh? 40 tons. Very good. We're gonna get some others involved, right? Think about when I, when I think of our kids read, um, participating in schools is the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child. By bringing the community into the schools, it helps the schools out, but it also helps the community out too because it builds this shared identity. Brad walked around the... Bus. From the very beginning, we never wanted these to be just nonprofit initiatives or just school initiatives. We wanted them to be nonprofit school partnerships and really driven by the community. They really want to make a difference and the tutors will take no self-gratification out of this. They'll say, when I go into it, all I wanted to do was help a student, and they ended up gaining so much more and learning about themselves. So it's not just teaching basic reading skills, you're there for 30 minutes, but that you really get invested and you don't want to leave. What book are we gonna read today? A Bite for Bread. All right. To see these boys come in and they're smiling and they're learning to read better and just the interaction with them um, you can tell you're making an impact on their lives. What our kids read does is brings to bear a lot of the folks uh, that have uh, are dealing in this world whether it be about reading or volunteerism and we just connect the dots. Around the bike. My name is Keith Hill uh, I've been with uh, AR Kids Read now for, this is my first year it's been beneficial just watching the kids because they get excited when I'm here. Um, I've missed a few times. The first thing Corey said is like, where were you last week? He thought, oh, don't take any nice of him. No. If we can have a tutor come along and, and support a student 30 minutes a, a week uh, and encourage reading independently on their own, that that coupled with you know the excellent teaching that's going on in the classroom and support from parents, that's really what can make a difference. Uh, balance. Balance. Good job. One of the suggestions we had was to create a log, attendance log for a tutor and the t student. So they started to document each session as far as the attendance goes, as far as what kind of books are read during the session. So they can actually look at the data and to see whether the program is implemented as they had planned. What does that sound? Quarters. There you go. It's well worth giving away an hour and a half of your time a week uh, right. to come make an impact on these kids because you know, the kids are our future. So that's, it's, been, it's been a blessing for sure. From the very beginning, we never wanted these to be just nonprofit initiatives or just school initiatives. We wanted them to be nonprofit school partnerships and really driven by the community, what, what should happen. Um, because if the whole community is not bought into educating its children, there's only so much that teachers can do every day in the classroom. The one thing I think about when I when I think of our kids read um, participating in schools is the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes all of us. It takes the teachers, it takes me, the administration, the staff, and community members and parents to come together. And I really saw the benefit in the kids seeing that we all care that you become a fluent reader. For the longest time, I thought that the school's doors were shut, that they wouldn't welcome community volunteers, that it was kind of, we're going to take care of these issues, we're going to work with these kids, and we don't need any help doing it. But I'm understanding is these principals and these school coordinators and the district, they want people to come alongside them and support their children, that they want community volunteers, they want parents to come in and help their children because that's going to be uh, a way that we can do this. We're all going to do it together. We all have a stake in this. When people are, they're not an outsider to the school, but they become integrally involved with the school, they see more firsthand what children are dealing with in schools. And so systemically, I think it's, it's a huge benefit to have these people and businesses come in and be involved in the school because now it's no longer the school across the street, it's my school. What's the name of the story? Currently we work with Reading is Fundamental to support Boys and Girls Club with their Read for Success program. 
The divers work to save her, cutting one line after another. You think they're going at a slow pace? Reefer Success no is way. a 35 book collection. They're multicultural, steam driven, and they're meant to reach low income students and low income neighborhoods in schools and through community partners. So we support seven boys and girls clubs. We hire certified teachers to run this program each day for seven weeks in the summer. Uh, they will teach a book a week and on one of those days they'll take a field trip that will supplement the learning for the book. So for instance, if it's a book about animals, they can go to the zoo or they can bring in animals to the boys and girls clubs and that'll tie the learning to the you book. You can decorate your whale tail any way you want. You can make it a rainbow, you can make it all black. You can make it By bringing the community into the schools, it helps the schools out, but it also helps the community out too because it builds this shared identity. And once you have that shared identity, you also have a shared responsibility. And I think that's one of the tenets of what our Kids Read attempts to do. I've always thought I was patient, <laughs> but my student, Corey, he's very energetic. He told me that he didn't have any friends one day. Mm -hmm. And I let him know, I said, well, you stated that you have one friend, but now you have two, you have me as well. So you get a chance to connect with students on another level besides just reading. You get a chance to find out you know, what their strengths and weaknesses are. Um, and you can really be someone that they can look up to and someone that they can appreciate knowing that they have a support group. They really want to make a difference and the tutors will take no self-gratification out of this. They'll say when I go into it, all I wanted to do is help a student and they ended up gaining so much more and learning about themselves. So, we want people to see that and understand that, that it's not just teaching basic reading skills, you're there for 30 minutes, but that you really get invested and you don't want to leave. So kids, uh, they really teach you, I guess a lot of aspects that you lose being an adult. One which is hope, you know, kids have a lot of hope. They're very curious, you know, there's things that they want to learn, they're going to do whatever it takes to find out what those things are. They don't really have a lot of limitations, you know, they don't really understand what risks are. So those type of aspects allow you to push the envelope. I said I used to be a struggling reader and I came from a single parent family and I had a mother that would work two and three jobs and I had a reading, reading tutor that uh, was not, you know, cheap. I believe each session cost about $75 and I would go to her house on a Saturday and read for about three hours. So I understand the significance of the program and the value that it brings to the students and the families involved. So that's the main reason why I chose to do it and why, probably why I take it so seriously. Pushes him ever so gently, a little nudge. Then one by one, she nudges the other divers too. It's important for us to remember that someone had to help us. And um, if we want the future to be strong and bright, we have to reach back and pull, pull them with us. And we have to instill in them the importance of being responsible, um, helping others, and you know, just being a, a stand-up citizen. We're gonna get some others involved, right? Because it's gonna take a community to help, isn't it? You can't do it alone. So why is that important?